So let's look at adding mixed numbers together. So for example, if we want to add 3 and 1 over 3, add it to 5 over 1 over 3, right? Now recognizing that this is a mixed number which consists of a whole number, okay? 3 here is a whole number and then 1 over 3 here is the fractional part, right? So that is the format of a mixed number. So to add out two mixed numbers, we will do it in two parts, okay? So the first part here is we add the whole number together, right? So these two here we add out together and then we do the same for the fractional part. So we add out the fraction together and then the third step is to sum out the results all together. So let's have a look here. Now if we have, let's look at the fractional part first. If we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, that shall give us, now straight away because the two denominators are the same, the answer will be the numerator plus the numerator. So 1 plus 1 gives us, give us 2 over 3. And the whole number part is 3 plus 5. Straight away, 8. So the total answer will be 8, 2 over 3, okay? Right. So let's have a look at another example, right? When the fractional parts, when either out, give us an improper fraction. So let's see what we can do, okay? So let's say if we have 8, 3 over 5 plus 6, 4 over 5, okay? Now again, we look at the fractional part first. So we look at 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5, right? So adding the, these fractions up give us 7 over 5, which is an improper number by itself, and convert it back to a mixed number will give us 1 and 2 over 5, right? So now, we have already done this part, okay, the fractional part, fractional part, okay? So we have to add the whole number together, okay, whole number. So adding the whole number part, 8 plus 6, now, we have another whole number to consider, okay, which is resulting from adding the two fractions together, okay, plus 1. So this one will be 15, okay, right. So the final answer, the overall answer will be 15, 2 over 5, okay. So that's how we add out uh, two mixed numbers together. What happens if you need to add more than two mixed numbers. For example, if you add 5, 9 over 4 plus 11, 7 over 9 plus 3, 8 over 9 plus 1, 5 over 9. Okay, so you're adding four mixed numbers up together. Now the same procedure applies, okay. So here first steps, we look at the fractional part first. Right, we look at 4 over 9 plus 7 over 9 plus 8 over 9 plus 5 over 9, okay? So adding this part up give us 24 over 9, right? And we will convert this improper fraction into mixed numbers. And that will give us 2, 6 over 9, which can be further reduced, okay? We can reduce the fractional part here and if we do that we get 2 over 3 okay so the second step here is to look at the whole numbers okay so the original whole number of 5 plus 11 plus 3 plus 1 and not forgetting that we have another 2 here which is um, given by the addition of all the fractions together and this will give us 22 so then, the overall answer will be 22 and then 2 over 3, okay? So this is 
the final answer for the addition okay so if you have to add more mixed numbers you will do the same way as well okay right. ah, just before we stop what happen if your denominators are different okay so if you have 16 3 over 5 for example and 7 7 over 9 right so again we need to add out the fractional part first 3 over 5 plus 7 over 9 okay now because the denominators are different numbers we need to convert them into the lower um, the lowest common multiple right so you can go back to the earlier video lectures to look at how to find the LCM okay so straight away I'm going to tell you that the LCM for 5 and 9 will be 45 okay and we will have 27 over 45 plus 35 over 45 so this will be 62 over 45 and converting it back to mixed numbers we have 1 and 17 over 45 okay and the second part will be to add out the whole numbers together 16 plus 7 plus the 1 from the addition of the fractions so we will have 24 so the total answer will be 24 17 over 45 okay now can this fraction be further reduced no because 17 is a prime number okay it can be divided by 1 and itself 17 only okay so this fraction here cannot be reduced further so then our overall answer will be given by this right